okay today we are just going into the virtualization okay before going into the virtualization so i just giving the some of the int okay so starting vmr has started as vi actually what is vi vi we call it as virtual infrastructure actually and later the i has been replaced as sphere okay then 4.0 is the version they introduced so in that onwards we are just using the vsphere version as now till 6.7 you got now mm -hmm. so so from vsphere 4.0 and vsphere client Four dot zero and ESH and ESH. These are the things which was available in the four point zero versions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now in vSphere four dot one vSphere four dot one sorry vSphere client and then ESH and ESH. Then vSphere y.0 vSphere client y.0 and here only we just call it as only ESHI not ESH. So ESH has been removed from 4.1. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 5.0 onwards. We don't we never use the ESH and we are just using the only the ESHI. Then vSphere 5.1 vSphere client and newly introduced as web client 5.1 and ESHI. Then vSphere 5.5 and vSphere client. And web client and ESHI 5.5 vSphere 6.0 and ESHI 6.0. Now, now they are removed vSphere client and made it as only the web client. Mm. You got it? So these are the versions which was used till now. So these are the things we are just going to study. This is the difference between here. Here is the difference and here is the difference. I just save it and send it across this, this document to you also. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Hope you seen the you got the document yesterday, right? Yes, I did. Thank you. So now we are just moving into the chapter. 
so normally we just having the license right normally we just having the license as windows light like, like uh, mm -hmm. standard enterprise uh, data center like that here also with the vSphere has got three type of licenses one is standard one is enterprise and one is enterprise plus these are the three things which was available in the uh, market in the thing so normally they will go for enterprise and enterprise plus not for standard because standard they never use it so in case of uh, these are the what is the difference between the enterprise and enterprise plus means we just got few things which was available so if that feature required for you then we have to go for the enterprise plus actually mm -hmm. what is the features right the flash read catch distributor switch the io control okay the vspay host profile and auto deploy and storage drs and single root and this this type of things which need to be enabled in your environment then you have to go for the enterprise plus if you mm -hmm. don't want anything so it's commonly it will be used then you can go for the enterprise because the cost will be vary for enterprise and enterprise plus. that is the difference between the enterprise and enterprise plus any doubt or something shall we move no yeah no, no that's fine yeah yeah so normally you do, i yesterday i told right the physical infrastructure what we are doing it so one server one os and one application will be running on that thing correct each os so if it's connected to the ethernet and it will be connected to the storage and network all the stuff in that same case if you do go for the virtualization in a single host we can be able to connect a multiple vms so that's why we yesterday we are uh, drawn right one of the blade mm -hmm. and it's just same thing they have given it now nothing much so the physical and run, virtual architecture shows us x86 architecture so in top of that we are just putting one operating system and one application same thing if we go for the virtual then we have to go for h86 and in that vSphere we will be installing that and we can be able to have multiple VMs in that each VMs we can have the own CPU memory disk and network it will be available So there are one thing software defined data center. This is a new concept which was came. What they are telling right now. Already you know that server virtualization it's came into the picture now market. Mm -hmm. So there are two things. One is network virtualization also available and storage virtualization also available now. So the software define it's combined between the server virtualization, network virtualization, and storage virtualization. This is how it will work. So what is the network virtualization which technology using it means NHS is a new product the VMR has introduced. So mm -hmm. there is no not required for the uh, router firewall separate separate so once you install the nss it will be combined all the stuff so router switch firewall everything it will be combined there is nothing need to be done on your side so the cost has been reduced so instead of going for storage utilization to, uh, with the ibm emc or like that we are using the vmr telling to recommend us vsan is a new concept it's mm -hmm. came so we can be able to use the local disk as a virtual disk and we can be able to create as a, a number of VMs like a shared data store. These are the things which was comes into the story defined data center actually. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Okay.
So what difference between the physical and the virtual? So you read it. If you have any doubt, let me know. Resource, yesterday is the I told, right? Resource is one of the main for the VML. So what does that mean means? Uh, we can have only the CPU and memory is the resource. We just want to know that. Okay, how many we, uh, in the worst, we, if we have more virtual CPU and memory, then we can create a number of VMs. There is no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you go for CPU, which is physical and virtual, if you are using the physical, right, then a process or something, if we have the four or something, the utilization is go only for two, the process. So the two process is waste. If you are in virtualization, you can, that two process, we can able to utilize on VM. This is how the technology has been improved, the virtualization. So there is no waste of processes. So we can able to utilize if it's free or something. Mm -hmm. Shall we go? Yeah. Like memory also, if we are having such GP or RAM or in your physical machine, then we can uh, utilizing only four, the four um, GP of memory, we cannot be able to utilize, we cannot be able to do anything. Rather, if you go for virtual, that four GP, we can create one VM and we can be able to utilize. Okay. So now, in normally we just having the physical, right? Physical network. So what normally we'll do, we'll be connecting that RJ45 to the network adapter, correct? So that's it. We never use any, uh, if a network uh, cable is fall, we'll be reach, uh, changing the network cable and we'll be work, that physical machine will be working fine, correct? This is how the physical mm -hmm. infrastructure will be doing it. But normally in virtual, we have to do everything. What we have to do means, the, the in hypervisor we just, uh, one of the thing, it will be created as a virtual switch. The communication between the external and the internal VM, that is one switch will be created. From that switch only, it will be communicated each and everything, actually. Okay, so mm -hmm. now whatever we are just creating in the virtual port group or something, that will be covered in the network topic that I'm just telling you. The, all the network uh, port group or something, we, what are the VMs? We have consolidated pro development test or something. We have to create one uh, virtual port group. From that only we have to communicate with the, all the VMs. That type of work we have to do. And in case of machine goes down, the NIC is goes down, we have to check with the network team and find out what is happening. It's a NIC fault or a switch side fault we have to identify and replace the traffic mm -hmm. from that particular nick to different nick so that nick teaming policy also it will become into the site so we are we should not take easy that we are not doing any network part so the half of the person will be doing in the network category also yeah okay shall we go mm -hmm. So now normally we'll be using the in Windows we'll be using as uh, NTFS and uh, FAT32, FAT16 file system, right? So mm -hmm. in uh, virtual we'll be using only one. What does that mean? Uh, virtual machine file system. This is the one file system which was used in the VMR environment. So all the data store, all the machine will be having only the VMFS. That's it. Nothing about from that. Mm -hmm. 
so in Linux we will be using SFS right or something so like that the file system will be the VMFS file system Mm -hmm. So encapsulation, what is encapsulation? Do you aware of that? Yeah. So what is that? Do you aware or shall I? Yeah, no, go ahead. Okay the zipping of the files into the single thing okay in that if we have vm1 vm2 multiple vm we are creating each uh, vm we will be considering as a zip file and put it into the one folder called vm1 it just combine all the files that virtual machine chapter we will be discussing all this what are the files it will be stored so if you give in the orders right it will be compressed okay in a single data store and make it as vm1 in that folder only you can able to see, see all the uh, vms which was uh, sorry all the files will which uh, created right so vm1 mm -hmm. that all it will be available in that folder only if it's uh, vm2 the machine created the folder will be created in the vm2 and inside your, all the files will be there so you, you cannot be able to see the vm2 files in the vm1 and vm1 files into the vm2 that is how the encapsulation is work here so this zipping of files will be there you got it yeah so this is a file system we will be using it why we are not using the local actually why we are not creating the vm in locally locally where yeah if if yes it's a thing uh, because right you need uh, a share storage that, that's fine why we, if we not i mean the share storage why we are not keeping all the machine uh, in a local so because in case of vss goes down the all the vm will be goes up that is the only reason we cannot be able to keep the all the vm in the local data store oh, so you have a two data store is that what you say local and uh, uh, local is the ess host okay oh i see it, okay uh, okay that is a local okay, okay. san is the centralized now you got it right yeah hold on a second let me just draw that vm you still have a vm1 and vm2 stored locally and yeah the there's the diagram there yeah picture they are given it yeah okay shall i move off mm -hmm. so now we are just going for the cloud actually what is cloud there are three types of cloud one is private one is public one is hybrid cloud which was used in the thing so what is private cloud and what is public cloud do you have aware of it have you heard or yeah. something mm -hmm. private cloud is if you have a on your network or um, your local network no actually the, the uh, private on premise begin the firewall whatever the your company yeah mm -hmm. on premise only okay the public so we can get the resource from any vendor and you can able to uh, create the vm and you while using it how many charge only you are going to pay so you are not going to pay for all the three sixty five days once machine is power on the the calculation is going on once you power off the calculation will be off so only the vm once you power on the billing will be cycle will be started this is how it's working so private they go for the only production and public they go for the test and development actually
You understand, right? Mm -hmm. So the private, the Hindu, the individual department or internal corporate or uh, organization are able to deploy and manage IT infrastructure through virtual system as needed. It's showing as begin the firewall. That is the one I told. See, the begin the firewall. Whatever you mm -hmm. using, it will be available. So instead of uh, public. The resources will be having it. So they will be giving all the resources to a different different company. You cannot be able to tell you anything. Correct. Mm -hmm. So what is hybrid? So both public and private. So we are we are having some of the system in the public. We are having some of the system in the private cloud. So how to combine and see in a single thing. There is one. Uh, Cloud connector is a one of the tool which was connected between these two bridge as a bridge. What is that thing, right? The hybrid cloud, we can able to show, see the cloud connector. From the cloud connector, you need to access public and private uh, cloud and you can able to see in a single thing. You got it? Or? Mm -hmm. Any doubt till now? No. Okay, clean. Nothing, mm -hmm. right? Okay, fine. Because I just going for now ESH and ESHI. Okay. okay. So So today we will finish off theory part of ESH and ESHI. Okay. So mm -hmm. next week we will go for practical on Saturday. So this is the structure. Okay. Just a minute. I just have water and come. Okay. Just give me two minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, shall we go? Mm -hmm. So what is ESH and ESHI? ESH, we call it as Elastic Sky Integration. Sorry, Elastic Sky ES, okay? And ESHI, we call it as Elastic Sky, yes, integrated. In, uh, in. This is the yes, expansion of that yes. It's. it's integrated or infrastructure? It's I four. Integrated, actually. We never call it as infrastructure. Load it on? Yep. Okay. So now, basically, if you want to install any uh software or something we just require the prerequisite should be matched right mm -hmm. so 
so the hardware should be the perfect one correct we just mm -hmm. need to be that so the hardware what is the ess hardware pre request browser should be the 64 bit and 86 uh, uh, architecture should be available so required at least two cores should be available for installing the ESSI. okay mm -hmm. the memory they have given 2 gb not 2 gb this is a 5.1 okay so in 5.5 and 6 and uh, 6 and all okay. we required at least 4 gb mm -hmm. so one or more giga ethernet controller means we just having one or 10 gigabyte ethernet card are supported for best performance we need to use a separate funic for the management and virtual mm -hmm. machine uh, for the separate network that is why i told right the need teaming should be available and mm -hmm. we will be segregating all the things that we will be discussed on the network part okay disk storage the storage is comes down the SCSI will be using it sas will be using it okay and uh, LAN, LAN is, is come from the fiber channel so all the stuff which was used in the disk storage Any doubt? No. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. So normally, uh, what is the once the machine is installed, the first step, what you will do, you will be doing it in your uh, home or office or something to install um, the. So, uh, so first OS has been installed, okay, in new mm -hmm. machine. Yeah, yeah. First step, what you will be doing it after installing? After installing, uh, yeah. assign IP address. Okay. Uh, change the host name. That's it. Phone Same phone. thing. Yeah, correct. The they, these are the certain required for the year also. The host name should be host name and IP address should be changed. Okay install location it's automatically default. there default nothing need to be changed keyboard keyboard should be the english yeah. because if you are go for china or something then you have to change it to china language if mm -hmm. you go germany french or something you have to change it according to their language mm -hmm. correct so if you are choosing uh, instead of english or some other thing you cannot be able to read it correct what that mm -hmm. is type or something so we need to use the uh, us english actually and vlan is the optional because what vlan means i'll tell you deeply in the network okay network class mm -hmm. the ip and uh, subnet all the because we will be using the static and dynamic normally they will go for the static one so mm -hmm. the primary dns is the ad integration so ad if we are installed ad then you can able to ma uh, map it mm -hmm. ad okay root password okay if you are having the root password right when will you use the root password so more Even members more, yeah more uh, members more people are logging so we mm -hmm. need to have the centralized uh, power or password or need to be generated at uh, uh, like otp right so mm -hmm. mobile otp like around uh, two hours three hours time will be changing the password all the stuff so if option that also option, why means if you are managing you are the only one and then no need to give the password if you have multiple people are going for the uh accessing that then you have to give the password you got it right any doubt in this no shall we move on a step now yep yeah okay So how to install the SSI? Because we just have three types. One is CD-ROM or ISO or flash. USB to uh, USB we can able to install it. Yeah. yeah so if 
hard disk is not available okay only the resource resource means cpu and memory network everything is there but the customer want to install that uh, shi without hard disk so that is another way we can able to boot we can able to install the shi through boot from sun what is that boot from sun means the LAN will be presented in the storage okay from the storage you will be getting through the uh, storage switch from that we will be getting through the hpa hpa is one of the card which was placed on that particular server okay so mm -hmm. the hpa is nothing but host bus adapter that detail i will just clarify on the storage class okay so hp card it will be installed on that particular server from that server uh, hp card this machine this uh, need to be uh, restarted and we have to select that option boot from sand so then the machine will be boot from the sand and all the version will be created okay any doubt you are clear right yeah till now there is no issue correct yeah you are clear now okay great So there is some ESHI partition is available. Okay. I just write it now. Okay. Then I'll tell you. Just note it down, I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. Done. Done right.
So now what I'm right, the system partition. This is a partition which was automatically created once it's installed. Okay. So what happened, right? Once you install, okay, these mm -hmm. are the partitions which was created automatically. Now the system partition is a normal partition like a, sorry. For normally all the machine partition to create a right like uh, to the doll the system data like that it will be available okay the boot bank and alternate boot bank so now what is happened right so once may uh, yes it's I update one is a patch you already installed now we are just going for installing the another patch as update two. okay mm -hmm. once you updated so machine got rebooted okay it's mm -hmm. not come up so some uh, some facing of some issue or something the customer wants immediately uh, within half an time i just require this machine immediately they are asking okay mm -hmm. so what happened right in that case we cannot be able to troubleshoot or something correct we need to go for the previous one which was available ESHI 5.5 update one we need to go back correct mm -hmm. so in that case the alternate boot bank is the one we can able to reboot and shift plus R. This is the R is the recovery mode. Once you click on that, whatever the previous version, right? We can able to you mm -hmm. same thing. Nothing can be changed. So whatever the previous what happened, right? Same machine which was given to them, and we can later we can able to troubleshoot. gonna go through in a demo right sorry we'll, can we do this in a demo or when we go through the real installing and booting up yeah, yeah. while well, uh, booting itself you can see the shift plus or I can show you that is surely I can able to show you that is no problem okay okay I'll tell you okay next week we are mm -hmm. while going right surely I can able to show the where it is available okay mm -hmm. so VMK diagnostic normally uh, normally we can able to uh, know BSOD, you know BSOD? No. It's a blue screen of death. <laughs> you got it right now? Now I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, now in VMR we will be using at PSOD. It's a purple screen of death. We call it as purple screen. Mm -hmm here in uh, that is the thing so uh, store store is the vm tools so normally what happened right so normally every machine uh, once uh, laptop or desktop once you install the os will be mm -hmm. updating the sorry will be updating the drivers right normally so then mm -hmm. only the machine will be the display and network and all the stuff will be available, correct? Right. So like this, the VM tools is a driver which need to be installed on all the virtual machine actually. Mm. Okay. It will be there. It will be available on the ESS host actually. Okay. Okay, any doubt or something? We can go ahead. Yeah. Okay, scratch is the log file. Scratch is always stored here. Yeah? Log file, all the log file will be stored. All the log mm -hmm. file will be stored. So VM of first version is already at all, right? Three, five, and six. The six is a, it's come up, it's came up in vSphere. Five, it's it's start five, not previously. The five version came up in vSphere five dot zero. 
previously we will be using tree version you got it mm -hmm. so what is vmfs vm file system yeah virtual machine file system i told right okay. i noted down here mm -hmm. Okay, now you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. I told about V sand, right? It's one other thing. I tell mm -hmm. you how it's all. So normally we will be this is the worst. This is the one of the worst. Okay. Mm -hmm. Worst the worst. Okay. The worst three, worst two, worst one. Okay. All the three worst is available now. In all three worst, we will be having. Two disk, correct? Sorry, normally we will be having two disk, correct? SCSI is the one of the two disk which was configured in each host locally, correct? Um, what happened? Depending on what you buy with the, what you have on your hardware, right? No, I know this is a hardware? physical machine. The physical yeah, the machine, physical machine could have a local disk. Correct. Uh, because the disk could be IBM, yeah, SCSI, yeah. SAS. No, SAS they will not be used. Only the SCSI will be used in the server end or SSD. Okay. Now normally there are two disks will be there. If one goes down, the another disk will be available. If we write configured one, it's mirror. Correct. Normally they will go for write one, right? For OS. Mm -hmm. So in that case, if you are going for SCSI 2 or this, okay. Now again they will add one more. Why means this uh, the pre-request for VS and S3 OS should be available. And del delicate network. Okay. 
and SCSI plus SSD should be available. This is the main tree request for them. So now we are already having SCSI. So only SSD is missing, correct? So mm -hmm. what I'll do, I put one more orders as SSD. in each server you understand right now now what happened right we need to mingle SCSI and ssd and combine and make it as one disk and we need to create a cluster within the trios you got it or wrong see now SCSI to SCSI is right they required only the one SCSI and map it to ssd correct so what we have to do right so ssd plus cassie should be available in each host correct all three hosts of SCSI and ssd combine and make it as a one cluster as a vsan cluster then after creating that all the local uh, instead of local we will be using the virtual disk so if his host goes down the vm will not, vm already it's available in the shared data store and it automatically moved to another host. You got it? Yeah, but why are you doing a share store? Uh, why are you not using a share store? Why are you using local disk uh, to do VCN? No, local disk making as a shared disk. Okay, instead of going for EMC, IBM or something, oh, the, okay. uh, the VM has suggested instead of they are going, we can use a local disk as a virtual disk it's part of vsan mm -hmm. vsan is one of the concerns we can use it they are telling that this is the pre request we can use it so once you have the license we can able to use it as a local as a virtual sun i see okay so where where is uh, you install the vsan in vcenter actually in web client right in web client we cannot able to use it because the license is not available so i uh, we have the one document step okay so we can be able to go with that after that we cannot be able to move it up because the license is required actually so the cost is reduced right now you got it by using vsan you mean correct because correct. you're using local uh, host uh, storage from the local host instead of uh, shared storage iSCSI or nas or any other storage whatever device. yeah See, this is the setup we have to make it. So I tried it. Okay, I just give this link because we cannot be able to move further. Okay, we can mm -hmm. need to be have to create it. Okay, the two CPU, all the disk can be added, and we can be able to make it. Okay, but the after that the cluster we cannot be able to because the license is not available for us. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. You got it right mm -hmm. so i just share the link to you you can okay. see that you understand the concept right how it's work not unless we i check it have <laughs> right now a little bit uh, but uh, i have now i know what what exactly unless i mean 
I don't understand fully unless we go through this whole thing uh, perfectly. But for now, we can move. No, that's fine. But how Vishan is working, you got it, right? Yeah. That around. That's the thing I just want. Oh, fine. I save it and send it across this also, so you can have a look on that. So now there are things, there are two type of hypervisor actually. What are they? You remember? Hypervisor? Yeah. Type one and type two. Okay, type one means? Bare, bare, whatever, bare metal or? Current, okay, one is current. And the type two are host, bay. Uh, you install within the operating system, from the operating current, system, not current. Correct, correct. That's a good one. One is okay. Do you call no. hypervisor uh, in VMware? We call it as two hypervisor, okay. Oh. <coughs> One is bare metal hypervisor. and host based operating system okay so now i just going for bare metal how it's work okay mm -hmm. So all the VM will interact with the hardware. We call it as bare metal hypervisor. Okay. Sangeeta, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. The VM, it's directly interact with the hardware. We call it as bare metal hypervisor. The host, uh, host based operating system, right? Instead of ESHI, we are just putting the Windows 7 or Windows 10, Windows 8 or something. Top of that, we are just uh, installing the workstation. From there, we are just creating a number of VM. So now the VM is not directly interact with the hardware and only interacting with the what OS. The OS only interacting with the hardware. That is uh, another type. It's OS based operating system that it will be used in the home, but band metal it will be used in the production. Okay. 
Any doubt till now? No. You are clean? Yeah, you are clean, right? There is no. Yeah.